He was the producer of the movie staged as a documentary called The Blair Witch Project. Welcome home to Henderson, native Greg Hale. It's good to see you. Good to see you. How you doing? I'm good. So how are you? When are you coming back to town? Well, I'm coming back uh, this week for my 40-year um, high school reunion, crazily enough. <laughs> it goes by pretty fast, doesn't it? It does, frighteningly so. <laughs> well, I really want to, you know, take you back to the 1999 uh, film and your part in it and how it was conceived and then took off. So tell us about the Blair Witch Project project. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's 25-year anniversary uh, coming up really soon. The movie was released in, in July of, of 1999. Uh, and, yeah, was, I made it with uh, five guys that I went, or four guys that I went to film school with. We never expected it to do all the crazy stuff that it did, but uh, very fortunate that we got to go along for such a, for such a crazy ride. Well, never I thought we'd... I never thought we'd be talking about this little movie 25 years later, that's for sure. Well, it still, you know, makes a buzz when it comes up as a to topic of conversation. How important was the Sundance moment when the film was aired there? Oh, yeah, huge. I mean, uh, you know, Sundance was, you know, and still is probably the, you know, preeminent place for indie movies to, you know, to be found by audiences. And it was an amazing start for us. You know, it was like one of those things. We, we were amazed to finish the film. We were amazed to get into Sundance. We were amazed that we sold the film at Sundance. You know, every step of the way, it was just like one kind of amazing uh, surprise after another for us. So the next question for me is, what are you up to these days? Yeah, I'm working on a, a fantasy project, so very different. So my partner, Eduardo Sanchez, and I mostly do horror. We've done a lot of horror stuff since Blair Witch. Uh, but we've moved into fantasy. So we've, we're doing a project we're calling Emerald Anvil, which is about this dangerous fairy world, which is way more like uh, Game of Thrones than <laughs> Tinkerbell. <laughs> And um, we're doing it as a multi-platform project. So it's this big fantasy world that we're telling different stories in different platforms. So we uh, we had a podcast that we just finished season one of, 13 episodes, but you can still check that out on basically any uh, podcast platform. That's called Black Velvet Fairies. Uh, we're doing a novel called Journey to Hada, which is available now on Amazon. And actually, I'm going to be in Henderson at Antler, uh, this Sunday from 12 to 2, and we're going to be giving some books away and doing a book signing. Um, we're doing a board game uh, that we just kick-started, and that will be probably shipping out in September or October of this year. Really fantastic board game. And then we're using all that to, to uh, help build an audience, kind of like we did with Blair Witch, which started very grassroots, like you were, you were asking about Sundance. Uh, Sundance was hugely important, but before Sundance, we had kind of started our own little, you know, grassroots building of an audience on the Internet even before Sundance. And that's what we're trying to do with Emerald Anvil is put, um, you know, stories and stuff in front of people that hopefully they enjoy, build an audience. And we're going to be driving that toward doing a, a huge interactive storytelling activation at the beginning of next year. We're, we're gonna allow people to participate in a storytelling game that is actually gonna help create a part of the canon story world for the entire Emerald Anvil universe. So much going on in your life, so much excitement. So I'll, I'll want you back next year when you get all of this rolled out, okay? That sounds great. It's emeraldanvil.com. You can check out everything at emeraldanvil.com. Thanks, Greg. Welcome home. Thank you. Bye-bye. More lifestyles right after this. Stay with us.